What? You're putting Peter Chris's solo album against that album? Are you crazy? Is this some kind of a joke? Come on, man. Mac a Magab, everybody. Time for another track by track album battle. The Peter Chris solo album versus Asylum. I know what you're thinking. Why are you putting these together? Look, I'm doing all albums that have the Kiss logo against everything. That's what I'm doing. And uh, and I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm putting up the Peter Chris albums against uh, uh, these other ones, and I'm done. But I'm not putting them up in order. This one may be up before. 20 of, 20 of them haven't been up yet. Which one do I like more? This one, but I don't hate this album. And look at that killer autograph Peter did for me. Um, I don't hate this one. I used to when I was a kid, but you know, as I got older, I guess in a weird way I matured. I mean, I think the only way I ever matured was to some of these songs. So let's do this, shall we? All right, now we got uh, I'm Gonna Love You versus King of the Mountain. Uh, not even close. I'm going to have to give that one to King of the Mountain. Man, my hair's all over my face. All right. One for Asylum. Then we got New Matter to Me versus Any Way You Slice It. I hate You Matter to Me. I hate that song. Um, and I like Any Way You Slice It. I know many don't, but I, I love it. It's cheesy, but it's great. Another one for Asylum. All right. Tossing and Turning versus Who Wants to Be Lonely. You know, I don't like Who Wants to Be Lonely at all. I mean, I like that middle second. Da, na, 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 bam. And every time I put Asylum up against other Kiss albums, I'm almost positive Who Wants to Be Lonely never wins. So there's always a first time for everything because I'm picking it over tossing and turning. It's one crappy song beating another crappy song. All right. Uh, Trial by Fire. Yeah, I can do without that. Uh, don't Let Me Down, Don't Let Me Down, I love that song, and I like it more than Trial by Fire, sue me. Peter Chris got a point, three to one, all right. Uh, that's the kind of Sugar Papa Likes versus I'm Alive, I like that's the Sugar Papa Likes. I'm Alive is super cheesy, but I'm going with that one. I know it's your typical, hey, it's the 80s, let's do a fast song, but hey, it works for me, I dig it. So I'm giving another one to Animal Eyes. So that, Animal Eyes gets four. And Peter Chris gets one on side one. So uh, Animal Asylum is victorious on side one. I've been saying Animalize, right? It's Asylum. Um, now it's the halfway mark. And I want to say, you know, I don't monetize my page. So you're not subjected to stupid commercials. I have a PayPal below if you'd like to donate. And I'll even do a track by track album battle if it's the same amount of tracks. Or talk about an album or uh, a band, whatever you like. If you donate below and then write in the PayPal uh, when you send the money what you want me to do. If you want, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. All right, side two. Easy Thing. I like Easy Thing. I really do like that song. Versus Love is a Deadly Weapon. A song that, man, gets bashed a lot, but I like it. I even like it more than Easy Thing. So another one for Asylum. All right, then Rock Me Baby versus Tears Are Falling. I, and I know I am the minority here when I say I do not like Tears Are Falling. I really don't. And every time I put Asylum up against other albums, Tears Are Falling always wins. And like Who Wants to Be Lonely, it finally wins a battle. So another one for Asylum. All right, then we got Kiss a Girl Goodbye. I love that one. Uh, versus Secretly Cruel, my favorite song off of Asylum. Giving it to that one. Wow, this is going to be a wipeout. Um, Hooked on Rock and Roll versus Radar for Love, man, they're both pretty bad, but Hooked on Rock and Roll does not annoy me as much as Radar for Love, so I'm giving another one for Peter, all right, two for Peter. Then we end it with I Can't Stop the Rain, my favorite song off this album, versus uh, All Night, and man, I love uh, All Night, I know it's cheesy and stupid. But it's one of the songs I like on this album. It's the only single of the three, the videos of the three that I liked. Um, 
I can't stop the rain. Man, it's so close. You know what? I'm giving it to Peter, man. I can't stop the rain. I like it more. All right, so that Peter gets three, and Asylum gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, it's amazing that Peter even got three. But that's cool. What do you guys think? What would you, how would you put uh, your track by track? I know it'll be very different than mine, because most people seem to not like this album. You were just like me before I matured. Um, and, and a lot of people hate this, because a lot of people judge this album by the, the, the album cover and the stupid stage where they had it back then. I think this album is way better than uh, it's getting, it, it gets bashed. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell, and please, I have a PayPal below. You want to donate? That'd be awesome. Smack em a gob! This video has been brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs at competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you. A lot of you been asking for it. Smack em a gob merch. Yes, many types of shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it. Plus other stuff like shower curtains and bedspreads and mugs and socks and clocks. And oh, I can go on. But why should I? The link is below. Just click the link below in the description for all the Schmack em a gob merch. Order yours now. Schmack em a gob. You asked for it? Well, it's finally here by popular demand. The Dr. Fuck shirt at redbubble.com. Also available in many other styles, including hoodies. The link is in the description below. Buy yours now. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say. And we're going to go back and forth. And I'll even fucking play whatever request you want. Unless it sucks, then I ain't playing it because my show rules. And only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album. The King Diamond Podcast with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for those who love politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido. Ex Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast. And the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatsoundReview.com or search RatsoundReview on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.